Aaron, thank you. With monsoon rains, washes will be running again, and that's a danger to homeless people who sometimes camp out in those washes. And city leaders are trying to move them out before the storms roll in. 13 News reporter Shelby Slaughter is live along one of those washes near Davis Monthan Air Force Base where efforts to clean up a camp are underway. Shelby, what's going on out there? Valerie, as you can see, there's a line of tents along this wash, and as we've seen time and time again, these washes can be pretty dangerous, which is why the city is taking precautions now, so there's no problems later. The first monsoon storm in Tucson is expected at any time, and with these storms comes water rushing through our washes. The city of Tucson says this can pose a hazard to the unsheltered population who call these washes home. But if they're close to a wash, um, you know, the dangers of what can come with that, uh, as well as offering shelter services um, and then just doing some uh, navigation, you know, bridging them to the right resources. Mari Vasquez with the city says they're closely monitoring 15 different encampments near golf links and Swan and are hyper aware of people living in and around the washes. We are doing everything we can to number one, get outreach to them, let them, you know, get their stuff out safely. Vasquez tells me the city works to provide temporary housing either through a local shelter or other local organizations. If they're in the wash, they have 72 hours to vacate before the Tucson police Police department will remove them. What we worry about is when monsoon does come, if it takes all of their belongings, it could take them. Um, you know, the water runs very swiftly. And it's also important to know that during monsoon, nobody should be in or around these washes. Just because you don't see rain actively where we are now doesn't mean that there's not storms somewhere else causing these washes to flood. Reporting in Tucson, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News. You're really putting me in a bind.